hey y'all so i am back and i know it has been like i would say a long time maybe y'all don't think it was a long time but i am planning on doing a catch-up video but y'all i just been so busy so much homework so many tests so many papers and it's just a different life in college compared to high school and i used to think people was being dramatic when they said that but how you apply yourself like if you plan your day out or basically staying organized um deciding if you want to do this if you want to do that the consequences of doing such and i really had that down packed so far i'm hoping to do even better next semester but at the moment i'm on the verge of being i think on the dean's list possibly or not for sure but i want to put this in another video so today i will be doing a review of just a few stores that i ordered offline and also from in store so i'm so excited because this isn't my first time ordering from them but it's like my second time ordering from shop miss a and i'm so so excited because i finally bought me some new brushes and yeah y'all so i'm gonna open this up i'm using my um eyebrow scissors but it is okay y'all it is okay so excited i haven't even opened it yet as y'all probably could tell so first they give you a list of what you ordered so this is a small list of what i ordered and some have one quantity some have two it just depends on what i got one of what i got two of basically so this shirt is getting on my nerves it's really a jacket but anyway comes in some pretty bubble wrap with big circles on it and it's really taped up so making sure nothing breaks Put in some pretty pink baby, not baby, I guess you could say baby pink um, tissue paper. And this is just a AOA, which is the brand of my brushes. Um, and just a brand within um, Miss Shop Miss A. But it comes with a sticker just to seal everything up. So you can slide that off. Comes in some more protective wrapping. So excited. So excited. Okay. So, to just look at the overview, nothing in specific and detail. They have it all wrapped up like this. And I'm gonna start off with my brush cleaning eggs. I haven't really got one of these before, really used one, but I got one just to see how it'll work with my brushes because it's kind of hard washing brushes without some type of object to help you with. So I'm guessing you just put the brush on there and kind of move it around. So I got two of these. And I got the same color too, just so I can kind of pick it out within if like my makeup table is real messy or whatever. So I don't I wouldn't really recommend getting the color like a black, like the color of my brushes, or just like a um kind of boring color to where it'll blend in with if anything on your desk. Lip glosses and two liquid line eyeliners and oh I got a like a brown color eyeliner. The reviews and they're pretty good, but this is by Amuse. Mm, I'm not sure if I like the tip of this. I thought it was going to be sharp. And then as far as this color eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, it's kind of like a brown color. It's pretty cute. Kind of brighter than what I thought, but it'll, it'll do. It's only a dollar, not that much of a waste of money. I got two clear lip glosses, one for clients when I start back doing makeup, and then the other one is for me. This is by LA Colors. And it's many different brands on the Shop Miss Day site. They're more or less like the beauty store type makeup brands like Elf, LA Colors, Amuse, brands like that. And I also got this separate set of high definition brushes and they're in a white color white. And I thought I ordered a black, but I'm not, I don't even know. But this is just like, I guess you can use this for foundation or when you apply primer. And then this is another one. I actually got the big one to apply primer over the face overall. And I got the small one to apply under the eyes, maybe on the eyelids, just so I won't have to touch a face with my hands, which is what I don't want to do. But sometimes you may have to. This brush set that I bought, AOA 12 piece brush set. And it looks like this. Comes with a fan brush that I really needed and I've never had. A straight edge brush, a smudge brush, some blending brushes, eyeshadow application brushes, a big powder brush right here. Oh, and an eyebrow angle brush. You can use this to probably do your eyeliner, do your eyebrows, or anything like that. 
and concern when I ordered some brushes from BH Cosmetics, it's like the application was a little, as far as the brush, it was kind of hard, but I feel like this is pretty soft. I don't know if y'all can tell. I guess you can kind of see just how loosely and calmly that it glides up around my hand. So it seems pretty good. Yeah, way better than BH Cosmetics. My face brushes, I ordered a whole pack of that plus a roll. It came with the belt kind of thing and I ordered a flat top brush. This is what it came with. A flat top, a flat angled brush, an angled brush, a round brush, and a pointed brush. And it shows you like the definition of each one and what it can do right here under each name. And it also shows you a picture just to make sure probably that you got everything you needed. And then on the back are just some more with the definitions as well. For these brushes, I got two packs of those the blending brush just because i need more for eyeshadow and it's actually way bigger than what i thought it would be but it'll work i guess i got an extra angle brush and another concealer brush like this here and i got one for eyebrows and also like to put the concealer on for your eyebrows and then also another one like i said for eyeliner or eyebrows so it looks like that the next one package is the 10 piece high definition brush set plus a roll and when it says roll i'm guessing i don't know if you can tie this around your waist or not it is a aoa studio professional high definition brush set it comes with some face brushes which i needed a lot of those and i really needed some more blending brushes because i was really just sticking to one kind which is the bh cosmetics ones and i don't really like the elf i mean they're cheap but they're a little too cheap as far as blending like the little small um blending brushes i don't really like those i like them as a beginner but i feel like i'm getting up there and i'm i don't really consider myself a beginner i consider myself maybe in the process i don't think i'm down on a lower level no more because i've been doing this for about two years now two to three years now what do i make up on myself okay so it comes with it didn't give me a list of the names of these, but I guess you can just call these face brushes because I needed some more foundation brushes as well. These are more or less eyeshadow crease type brushes. And I also got a headband. I didn't think it was going to be this big, so. It covers up. This is good for the winter time, so it'll, I'll make it work somehow. I actually forgot I bought this, actually. So that pretty much wraps up my Shop Miss A unboxing. So y'all, next is up one of my favorites, which is from my favorite makeup store, Ulta. Ordered a few things that I needed in replace of what I already have, and then the others was just stuff I ordered just to try it out. Also, my total for my Shop Miss A was 35 because if you spent, I think, 35 or more, somewhere around there, maybe 30, then you get free shipping. So, either I spent 30 or $35, maybe more, but it was less than 40 I know for sure. So, I got all of that for less than $40. So, it just comes in some bubble wrap or whatever this is. Things that I need that I ordered just to tell you what you had and it's make sure that it's in there in your box so i ordered another bottle this looks big i ordered another bottle of the mario mario badescu or badescu water i don't know how you say it but this is the facial spray with the low herbs and rose water i use this as a setting spray and also as a prep and prime spray I got a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. I don't know how this works, so I'm pretty excited. And I got it in the color Milk, which is basically white. Just because I've never used white on my waterline or whatever when I do my makeup. So I just wanted to try it. It was only about $4. And I also got some mini samples I see of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And this is just some shampoo. So I got two of those. These were free, by the way. I did not pay for these, for those samples. Next is one of my favorites, the Makeup Revolution Chocolate Vice Chocolate Bar Eyeshadow Palette. I was so excited to get this because this was one of my main things that I wanted to order. One being I saw a YouTuber do such a pretty look with that and I tried to imitate it with just the um, products that I had and it did not work out. This is pretty much a knockoff of the Too Faced palette. And I love Makeup Revolution anyway. Comes in this black pretty bar. So pretty. They're pretty colors. So I'm gonna do a look with this, which I'm so, so excited Okay, so the about. palette comes with this little applicator brush. Well, it's not really a brush. It's kind of like a little mini sponge. Okay, as far as swatching, I think I'm gonna save it until I do a look with this. 
So let me just do one, okay. Let's do the gold. Oh, y'all, look at this. So pretty. Y'all, so freaking pretty, so cute. Even before I do a look with this, I may research some ones that's already been created and see what I can come up with. But yeah, this is the Makeup Revolution Chocolate Vice Chocolate Bar Eyeshadow Palette and it contains 16 shimmer and matte shades. It's also another thing that I was very, very excited about. I've seen reviews on this. I've seen a few people on YouTube and Instagram use it. A setting powder by Makeup Revolution and it is in the shade Terracotta. I got this for one. Um, because I knew I probably wouldn't have any flashback with this, although I haven't tried it, I'm just assuming. I bought the shade because it's not necessarily a banana type color. It's more kind of light brown, dark brown type of thing. Um, it's kind of a caramel type color and you can tell it can favor warm and dark toned people. So that's why I bought that and it is by, like I said, Make a Revolution. Also bought some more cotton products. I got some cotton balls because these were buy three get one free or something like that. Or buy, no, buy two get two free. So I got some cotton balls by Ulta Beauty, which is the brand. I got two things of cotton pads. And they're kind, I don't think they're the cheap kind, so I feel like they'll last or they'll actually make my makeup come off. I don't know, I haven't used them before. And I got some more sponges just for setting powder, um, blending, makeup, blah, blah, blah. And this is latex free. These are 100% pure cotton, and so are the cotton balls. My last two items include, I went to Dollar Tree today and I picked up some mascara by Wet n Wild, and I picked up a lip locker by e.l.f. in the color burgundy. This is the brush. Okay, it's really pretty and dark, kind of glossy. Not matte, but it, it seems really cute. Y'all, that wraps up my unboxing video of my Ulta purchase and my Shop Miss Day purchase. I did purchase all of these products with my money, and I really don't regret it. Except maybe the eyeliner. I'm not for sure if I really like that just yet. Only because the brush is kind of straight. I thought it was going to be really pointy. But it was only a dollar, like I said, not necessarily a waste of money. But anyway, y'all, so I'm going to do a video using most of these products, and I may film it. I think I am. But please stay tuned for my next videos. I'm going to try my best to get back on track we make a schedule of when i upload videos i'm not for sure yet i'm really just trying to get my life in order that this college life is just new to me i'm pretty well so far i want to do a catch-up video i still have to do my room tour but i really didn't like the way i decorated my room so this still is kind of on hold thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye don't forget to subscribe as well